Now I'm going to provide you the demo of dual core solution. So STM32WL LoRaWAN and Zigfox on the same chip. So the coexistence is possible. What is skill learning? Uh, I will show you how to cover both LoRaWAN and Zigfox protocol stack in one application. Uh, I will show you the basic introduction to the software implementation and you will see the working LoRaWAN and Zigfox application example in practice. This is another advantage of Sequencer that it is really easy to combine more than one application process. So within the main loop, as you can see here, following the control variable stored in SRAM2, so the SRAM which can be preserved, the retention feature during the stop and standby mode, following the control variable, the application can select the LoRaWAN process or Zigfox process. And you can find the source code for this example within the folder given in the bottom of the slide. And the flow is controlled by, by external interrupt and we will use for that the user button. It is not reset button, as you can see here. So following the button press, we are changing the control variable state. Active application Zigfox, active application LoRaWAN. And uh, in order to place variable in RAM2, we need to define no init variable. So here uh, you can see the excerpt of linker code below. It is GCC linker. And here you can see the definition of this variable within the source code. And in order to show you the Zigfox activity, I will use the portable Zigfox base station only for development purpose. It is so-called SDR dongle and related to this hardware Zigfox network emulator. Regarding the resources, the memory footprint, the usage of the flash, it is a little bit higher than 50%. So still almost all second half to be used and about 39% of the SRAM usage. Maybe I will show you live. So I need to start Cube IDE, then open project from file system. You have this source code within your repository. Uh, so STM32WL WS, demo, LoRaWAN Zigfox, projects, Buclo WL, applications, LoRaWAN Zigfox, LoRaWAN Zigfox sent on timer, and Cube ID subfolder. So finish, and project is here. So applications. Uh, for this, I will open the main.c. So here is the is the switch following the control variable in main loop. I will build the application. Okay, so the application is flashed. And I will open terminal. Okay. Setup serial port 115. And reset. So now by default, Zigfox application is ready. And I will open Zigfox Network Emulator. It looks like this. So messages, this is the menu. You can see the messages. So the data are sent every 15 seconds from the board. And here are the data. 
So I received value 15 in hex, so it means 16 plus 5, 21 Celsius degrees. And now I'm pressing the user button one. And now LoRa one application is ready. So it is joining to the network. And this application is already well known to you because it sends, okay, the temperature is the same, 21 degrees. This application also shows the same temperature. And again, you can receive the doubling, increase the temperature because the threshold is 27 degrees. Then I can come back to the Zigfox by pressing user button one. So again, Zigfox application is ready. So we can follow the value on the screen here. Then next frame is here. And again, 16 plus five gives us 21 degrees. This is very simple example because the context is not stored. So after switching to back to the LoRaWAN, the node needs to rejoin to the network. Of course, it is possible to save the context of the session within the RAM memory. The purpose of this demo is more to show you that in terms of resources, in terms of the transceiver capability, it is possible to cover dual protocol use case in single core solution. So it means very low cost of the application. Of course, uh, we can combine LoRaWAN and wireless MBUS. We can combine Zigfox and wireless MBUS. Uh, I cannot see an obstacle to, to combine two different protocols. The only condition for that is modulation must be supported by, by transceiver. That's all for today.